Okay, so in this problem, we're told a geologist finds a moon rock whose mass is 9.28 kilograms and has an apparent mass of 6.18 kilograms when submerged in water. What is the density of the rock? So we have this rock here, and what we're trying to be or what we're going to find is the density of the rock. And we're given two bits of information. We're given the real density of the rock, which is 9.28 kilograms, and we're given the apparent rate uh, weight of the rock or the mass of the rock. Sorry, this is mass the apparent mass of the rock when we submerge it in the water. So the apparent weight is basically what we feel the weight to be when you put it under, because when you put something underwater, it's just gonna feel like it doesn't weigh as much uh, because of the buoyant force. So let's go ahead and talk about how we're gonna solve this problem. So the first thing we need to know is that the volume of the rock is gonna be equal to the volume of the fluid that is displaced when we put the rock in. So this should make sense. If I have water here and I put the rock in, the volume of this rock is the same as the volume displaced, right? Because all this was water before and now it's uh, just displaced, right? So the volume of the rock is the same as the volume of the fluid that it displaces. And then we can rewrite this as we know density equals mass over volume. Therefore, volume, if you multiply both sides by V and then divide by D, you get volume equals mass over density. So we can rewrite this as the mass of the rock divided by the uh, density of the rock. And so instead of using D, I'm going to use rho, which is basically for density, but it's just the Greek letter. So the density of the rock is equal to the mass of the fluid divided by the density of the fluid. And so keep in mind what we're trying to find here. We're trying to find uh, the density of the rock, right? That's what they want us to find. So we're basically going to be solving for this uh, row of the rock because that's the density. So the next thing that we have to do is solve for the mass of the fluid. So the mass of the fluid, you need to know, is going to be equal to uh, the mass of the rock minus the mass of the apparent rock. And essentially the way this works is because we're going to be displacing it, right? So we have the mass of our real rock, and then if we subtract the mass of the apparent, uh, the reason this is, is the apparent is because of the fluid. So we're basically removing that. So the difference between them is the mass of the fluid because the apparent way is that way because we're displacing the water there. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, but we have 9.28 minus 6.18. Uh, that'll give you 3.1 kilograms. So now we have the mass of the fluid. And what we're going to want to do with this is uh, basically just plug it back in. So we're solving for row of the rock. Uh, so row of the rock or the density of the rock. If I multiply both sides by this value, right, we'll have it over here. Imagine it's just x. And then I'm just going to multiply by the reciprocal of this on that side uh, to get it by itself. So it's going to be equal to the density of the fluid divided by the mass of the fluid and then multiply that by the mass of the rock. And so, uh, yeah. So now that we have this, it's just a matter of plugging it in. So uh, we know that the density of the fluid is, or in this case it's water, so it's 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. So you should just know that the density of water is 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. So that's where I'm getting that value. Dividing by the mass of the fluid, we just found is 3.1 kilograms, right? So all we did for that was take the difference between the mass of the rock minus its apparent. Right? Because everything left, because we're displacing the water, so the remaining mass is just the difference. So, right, because obviously the mass has to come from somewhere. And then we're just multiplying by uh, the mass of the rock, right? The real mass, which was uh, 9.28 9 kilograms. So... You're just multiplying by that there. And then when you plug this in your calculator, you have 1,000 divided by 3.1 times 9.28. And so you will get the density of the rock is equal to 2993.5. Uh, keep in mind the units. So this was in kilograms. This is in kilograms, right? It's already right here. So these are going to cancel. And then you just have the units of the density of fluid. And so they have the same units, right? Kilograms per meter cubed. So this is your density of the rock here. About 3,000 kilograms 
uh, per meter cubed. So that's gonna be your density. And then just a quick rundown of how we did it. Uh, did it. So we knew the volume of the rock is the equal to the volume displaced of the fluid. So using the formula mass equals uh, or density equals mass over volume, we can solve it for V and then just rewrite it as the mass over the rock divided by the density of the rock equals the mass of the fluid uh, divided by the density of the fluid. And then I knew we knew uh, we're solving for this. We know the mass of the rock is actually 9.28 kilograms. We know the density of the fluid is just that of water, which was a, th a thousand. So we needed to find the mass of the fluid. And then we knew the mass of the fluid would just be the difference between the actual mass of the rock minus the apparent uh, because the water is getting displaced, right? So that's what's left of this. And then it's how we got that. And then it was just a matter of manipulating this formula to actually be able to plug it in. And then we just plugged it in and solved. So uh, yeah, so this is going to be your answer. And hopefully you found this video useful.